yo, it's that guy. I got the Fallout Screamer RDA. Uh, it's a combination or collaboration rather of Fallout and MechLife on this one. Dual coil RDA. Nice and spacious one. Don't worry about that little band coming off. Just pop it right back in. No problems at all. No need. No reason to score it any less. This drip tip, as you're about to see, gave me some trouble. This guy did not want to come off. I had to resort to using tools and all sorts. I did cause very minor scratching to the top of the top cap. Is that what it's called? The cap of the RDA, which I am upset about, but once the drip tip's on there, you can't see it. So all is not lost at all. Very nice drip tip. That ain't super special. Gets your job done, looks nice. Just checking on the top of that. So you get coils, cotton. Won't be using the cotton, but it's nice to get it. Um, comes with flathead screws installed, but it has some grub knots included and an Allen key for those if you prefer. I don't enjoy using flathead, but I cannot be bothered to swap them out. This is the deck as you can see. Very spacious. You'll be able to appreciate how big it is once uh, the coils are in. Smaller airflow holes for an RDA with such a big deck. I like to line those up because fun times. I do prefer smaller airflow holes. I'm a slightly more restricted direct long vapor, so looking forward to trying this one. Well, I was looking forward to it. I've already tried it by this point. Got Screamer engraved on one side and you've got the Fallout logo with some lovely wings behind it engraved on the other side. And there's me just pointing out the minor damage. You probably can't even see it. Uh, slight beveling to the top of the inner of the top cap. And it does have stoppers you'll see me demonstrate now. Look at that, it stops. That's just handy for when the RDA gets stuck on the top of the mod. Makes it a lot easier to take off if the barrel doesn't just spin. So that's getting prepped to slap some coils in there now. Just getting a feel of the uh, lead length. It's gauging what I want them at, or how much I want to shave off really. And I decided to go for a 7.5 millimeter leg length on these ones. Um, that's just because the airflow holes then meet the ever so slight underside. So just the, the under half, just the under half of the coil with the airflow coming in and going up, that's gonna carry air that's been around more of the coil, I believe. So that's how I like to position my coils in most, most RDAs. And it worked out well in this, to be fair. So these are three millimeter inner diameter coils. Uh, these are the ones that came included with the RDA. Uh, they might be aliens, they might not be. But to be fair, I've tried a few of the Fallout and MechLife pre-made coils and they've all been spot on and I've had nothing but good feedback on the spools of wire they do as well from customers at the shop so good stuff yeah so I've got them in place after getting to the right leg length now I'm just going to position them correctly um, I've been seeing on the old Facebooks and um, being chatting to a few people that have had one of these and Everybody says to position the, the coils closer to the airflow holes than to the center of the deck, which is what I normally would do. Put them as close to the center without touching as, as I could get them. So they're bang underneath the uh, drip tip. But um, I have had no problems with it like that at all. I've really enjoyed it with the coils in that position closer to the airflow holes. So keep doing that. 
Uh, I was going to use the Gale, but then I realized I'd have to go dig out my 21 700s. Could not be bothered with that, so Old Faithful Minikin 2 out. Get them glowing evenly. Bang on, first time, no problems at all. Thanks to them being slightly spaced, which I prefer, which is a bonus. NI80 coils as well. I think they came out at 0.14-ish. You'll have a look later on. But they're all glowed, they're all ready to get whipped up, so I've got my cotton gods out. Can't comment on the cotton that, you come, that comes with this RDA, so I've not tried it, it's still in the box. But Cotton Gods has never done me wrong, so until it does, I'm just going to keep using it. Just under a quarter of a strip. Nah, around, around a fifth of a strip is um, what I probably would have used here. And I'm just decompressing it a bit. It gets a bit flat in those packets. And my theory on wicking is we want more air within, not within the fibers, but between the fibers of the cotton. So the juice can travel up there easier. And as you can see, ever so slight nudging, that slight movement of the coil as I was threading it through. So you do want some resistance, but not enough to pull the coil out of place at all. And when threading the cotton on the second coil, just keep an eye out for the cotton that you've already threaded on the first coil as you don't want to drag it in. And uh, try to pinch the cotton as you're pulling it through as close to the coil as possible so you don't get any breakages in the cotton. You don't need to use as much. I have wasted a lot of cotton on this, but I just wanted to make sure I did it as best as I possibly could because it's the first time I've used this RDA and I want to give it a fair try. I wouldn't say the tails are short, I wouldn't say they're long, just your average tail length really. If I remember correctly, I trim them down just a little bit more beyond this point, yeah. So the cotton would have been folding over on the, on the deck, and I don't want that. I want it to be just touching it, or better yet, just, just, just rather shy of touching the deck so the juice can almost get under the cotton, but I'm not about to get that anal with it. Exactly the same on the other side. Just be a little bit more careful when sorting out the uh, tail lengths on the second side because on the first one you've always got room to play with again and you but on the second side you don't. Looking pretty, looking nice and symmetrical. Getting juiced up. This is a Knight's Vape black currant and cherry ice sorry for not paying attention and not showing you the label correctly but you know what do you expect love this juice one of my top five flavors easily got them vapors i think i do show you the wattage and or is it yeah no just showing you the air flows all the way over There he is, 77.70.14, I think that was. And I really do like this RDA. I really do like this RDA. I think um, the only downside is, it's not really a downside, it's just a bit louder than most other RDAs that I've used, but not loud enough to put me off at all. I think I mentioned it's a bit, yeah, I do, I'll go into a little bit of a performance over how loud it, yeah, there you go. Can you figure out what I'm trying to say? It's loud. But the flavor is really good. The draw, it's not the smoothest, but again, uh, it's, it's it's good enough for me. Um, this is where I go into the coil positioning. So I would normally have the coils closer together. 
but with this idea you want them slightly further apart apart yeah sorry don't mean to be so patronizing but i knew that i'd be dubbing this but yeah if you can get one get one they're about 35 squids peace <laughs>